Hey everybody, this is Pastor Daryl from The Quest. Uh, it's good to be back online. Um, most of you probably don't know, but uh, my family and I, my wife and I were stranded. Uh, we had van breakdown, major problems on Saturday in uh, Missouri, and uh, it took till late last night before we finally made it back home because we had to wait a couple days before we get the van repaired. And hey, but we're here, and so uh, uh, I did miss doing my Sunday service, and I haven't been online much. But uh, I wanted to share with you, I was talking with somebody while we were on this trip, and uh, it was somebody who had a common experience as mine about being in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I, I'm a bit of a history buff. I'm not uh, that much into it, but I, I love historical things. And I was sharing that how that going to Gettysburg just totally twisted the way I had viewed things before. Because uh, when I thought about the Battle of Gettysburg, you know, I pictured in my mind a simple little battlefield, which there was a battlefield, but what I didn't understand is that Battle of Gettysburg took place around an entire city in several locations, and it just totally transformed my thinking of that war. And You know, there's other experiences. You know, I think about, it's been a number of years back now, that I, I made several trips over to Berlin, Germany, did some preaching there, started a church. But while I was there, I had the opportunity to tour areas up on the Baltic Sea and tour castles that dated back to the early 1400s. You know, and it's kind of hard for us to wrap our minds around because here in America, our history is limited to only a couple hundred years, you know, at best. And I'll go over there and you can see, and not only see, but tour and visit in castles that were built in the 1400s. And it's just absolutely amazing. And I shared with my, my wife many times and just recently, we were talking again how that I really hope to take a few weeks and go over there and let her see and experience some of this stuff for herself. Well, all this really kind of wrapped together this past week when uh, my daughter's boyfriend's mother passed away. And, uh, and I began to think about, you know, the limited perception that we have of heaven. The Bible says, <clears throat> excuse me, but it, as, is, as it is written, eye is not seen, ear is not heard, nor hath entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for those who love him. That, it's really hard for us to fathom. You know, we picture things of heaven, and some of it's quite comical and childish because we have images of floating around on clouds with harps and, you know, and sometimes we try to perceive things from our human perspective, but... Paul wrote under the direction of the Holy Spirit that as hard as we try, no eye has ever seen it, no ear has ever heard of its beauty, no mind has even in its wildest imaginations begun to fathom what is in store for us when we get to heaven. You may think you have an idea. People talk about how beautiful it is and we've written songs and one of my best friends wrote a song a number of years back that we used to sing about you know how he perceived it and it's a beautiful song and beautiful imagery but according to the word of god as as wild and as far out there as we can imagine it to be the bible says you can't even begin to wrap your mind around it and i got to thinking about all of this wrapped together and it's like you know i'm thinking heaven's going to absolutely blow our minds it's going to be something that we We've had a preconceived idea what it's going to be like, but it's so much more, so much more powerful. You know, I, I want you to begin to think beyond our human expectations and human limitations. Heaven is so much more than you could ever wrap your mind around. Not only the beauty of it, but about everything about heaven is so wild so far beyond what you have ever seen, experienced with your eyes, your senses, and it's going to blow your mind. Think about that today. Come back and see me again tomorrow as I try to get back in a routine of doing our daily devotions in a moment in the Word. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.